Um, good morning. Um, we just hey, hello there. Uh, just listening to a broadcast um, where um, the broadcaster uh, was speaking about uh, God's intention to bring the children of Israel through uh, the wilderness. Uh, good morning. Good morning, God Oasis Warrior. Uh, God chose to take the children of Israel through the wilderness. It was his choice. And um, uh, because, uh, you know, he always has a plan, a plan for us, plan to prosper, prosper us and not to harm us, plan to uh, give us hope and a future. And so it was God's uh, intention, God's purpose, to bring the children of Israel through the desert. And uh, I um, reflect on my testimony, uh, my wilderness testimony, uh, my testimony of uh, my sojourn in, in the desert. Uh, my wife and I went through a period where we um, experienced um, a very difficult uh, season in the desert, and uh, we went there by faith. In other words, uh, I uh, we ended up in that experience because... I followed my faith in God. I continue to believe uh, that I should do what I um, saw was God's desire for me, God's will for me. In other words, every step that I took that um, led me to that desert experience was a step that I took by faith. And so, depend on him, but the source God. Uh, and so, at one point, um, you know, you can uh, look at your situation and say, wait a minute, I am walking by faith. I am being guided by faith. I am making choices by faith. And this is where I end up in this desert experience What's wrong with this picture? And I'm here to tell you that there is nothing wrong with the picture I just described. <clears throat> if you follow uh, your faith, if you make your faith choices, and uh, it doesn't matter where God leads you, uh, if you follow the guidance as you believe it, the guidance of God, as you believe it, you live by faith, uh, your, the destination of your journey is not uh, your concern. Uh, the destination of your journey, then, you have placed in the hands uh, of the Father. And so uh, that's my only concern. Uh, did I get here because of faith in God or because of unbelief and because of my own uh, knowledge, my own uh, understanding, my own desires? If the latter, then I'm in trouble and I better seek to get out with uh, uh, all my uh, uh, might. But if it's the former, if I got here, because of faith, then I'm okay. Because I know that God has me here, and he has me here for a purpose. He has me here so that I can experience what he has for me. And uh, and he's going to get me out. Uh, amen and hallelujah. And so I'm here to um, encourage the children of the diaspora. Uh in Christ, the children of God in Christ. I'm here to encourage you. If faith led you there, 
then then you're okay. You have no worries. If a lack of faith led you there, my friend, seek to get out by faith. Seek to follow uh, God's guidance by faith and get out of there because that's not God's desire for you. Be confident in God. God rewards <laughs> God rewards uh, faith in him. Even if you make a mistake uh, in your uh, vision of faith, in your understanding of faith, in your understanding of God's guidance, you make a mistake and, and you take a step by faith that is not what God wants you to do, you're still okay because God honors your faith. God honors your faith. And so it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, making error is not a pitfall when you, uh, when you live by faith. Uh, making a choice that is incorrect, uh, it is, there's no consequences to that if you do that mistake by faith. Because God will honor your faith and God will guide you. Uh, through that uh, uh, error, he will guide you into his perfect will. He can take all things and work them in such a way that it will bless you and benefit you and favor you. So uh, the whole uh, duty of us, children of God, is to walk by faith and not by sight. Walk by faith and not by sight. Um, the, one of my favorite scriptures is, I look not at the things that are seen. I don't go, uh, I don't walk by what I see. I rather look with my spiritual eyes. I look at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary. They're not eternal. But the things that are unseen, the things that lie beyond my eyes, my ears, my senses, my, my human understanding, those things are eternal. And so if I walk by faith, it, by uh, the eternal things that God guides me through, that I'm good. And so that's it. That's it. That's uh, the word that I have. Uh, I want to, um, you know, thank you for being here and for your hearts. Without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is. Amen. That's a good scripture. Um, and that he is a rewarder of, uh, of good things. Amen. I believe that. So that is uh, my content. Uh, Elmo Marshall. Thank you for joining. So thank you, my friend, for joining. I appreciate uh, all those that diligently seek him. Yes, that is important to diligently seek his guidance. Diligently seek his guidance. Diligently seek to walk by faith. Diligently. In other words, uh, uh, be careful to make your choices according to faith. Be careful to make your choices according to faith. Don't be lackadaisical about making your choices on faith. It, it, it's like walking a, on a, on a tightrope, high over a chasm. You know, every step you have to be careful about, every step that you take. Because, you know, do it on purpose. Follow Jesus on purpose. Thank you, my friend. Follow Jesus on purpose. Yes, purpose, will, uh, to follow God by faith 
is driven by purpose, by your purpose, by your exercise of your free will. But it must be a purposeful uh, act on your part. It can't be a, a, a sort of a, a default, a non-mindful type of uh, of um, of choice. It has to be a purposeful choice. You have to exercise your free will. That's one of the things that you bring to the altar uh, of the purpose of God. You bring your free will and and you that's the last uh act of free will that you do uh in in when you join Elohim in the execution of uh, the purpose of the father is um the uh, bringing your free will and laying it on the altar and surrendering that as one of your members in the altar you bring your 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 self will your your free will you bring your ability to formulate purpose and you put it on the altar and you say father uh, not my will but thy will be done not my purpose but your purpose not my desires not my understanding but your understanding thank you for testifying brother oh that is amazing i'm i'm so glad that uh, you are encouraged, my friend. I'm so glad. I often say that uh, my last act when uh, interacting with uh, Elohim on a purpose, my last act is to bring my members to the altar and surrender them and lay them on the altar as a living sacrifice. After that, I'm done. My only other activity in the process is to witness what's going on, is to witness, to actively witness, not passively witness, but actively witness uh, the activity of Elohim. And that is f uh, fascinating because it's like I become part of of a divine team uh, composed of three individuals, three different perspectives, the perspective of father, the perspective of son, the perspective of, of originator of purpose, the perspective of receptor of purpose, and the perspective of the uh, manifester of purpose. And so uh, you feel a leading to do this. That's the sun. You feel a leading, uh, 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 you know, of purpose. That's the father's activity. You, you, you see how something plays out in an amazing way. That's the activity of the spirit. And so the whole day, uh, as you interact with uh, Elohim, you're constantly speaking to the father. You're directing yourself to the father. Say, oh, thank you, father. You're uh, 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 speaking to the son. Oh, thank you, son. You know that. Uh, you know, good, <laughs> good call uh, 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 that the son uh, may execute. Uh, you know, something falls. You didn't see it, but you put your hand there and you catch it, and you prevented a fall. You prevented damage. You prevented an injury. You know, thank you, spirit, because the spirit is the one that. Uh, accomplishes those types of movements uh, of your body, and and he he is the one that uh, controls the uh, the actions of your eyes and and, and your um, physiology, and so uh, it's a a real amazing experience uh, to. Um, be part of the of the workings of Elohim. Um, you know the the part that man's plays. Man is uh, then uh, four is the number of of man, because you have Elohim, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's three, and then Father, Son, and Holy Spirit indwell and um, lives, moves, and acts through us, through a man, and so we become the fourth part. 
It is, it's fascinating, uh, the life of, uh, uh, of a child of God in Christ. But I came on uh, just to deliver uh, that uh, message, the original message. If you, if you find yourself in a particular place, doesn't matter how difficult it is, how wonderful it is, have a great day, brother, and you stay encouraged. God got our back. God, Abba, our Father. Thank you, sir. And so, be encouraged. Um, you know, be proactive. Be bold and strong. Banish fear. Banish doubt. Knowing that Yahweh, our God, is going to sustain, sustain us day by day, moment by moment. Thank you, my friend. Have a great one.